All right, guys, girls, everyone, subscribers, we're coming back today with something totally different compared to our normal powder coating. Today, we're making some custom speaker pods in a 2017 CF Moto Z Force 800. Here, yeah. I've already started with some of the cutting, some of the, the mock up. I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to go with it. I wanted something that was going to fit in between the corner pieces of the the roll cage i'm not quite sure where i want to go with them when i'm done but there will be a pair of six and a half inch components put in each of those spots up there and then there will be a bluetooth radio that'll be connected to them so hopefully I have some decent tunes on the trails so let's get going and we're going to finish up another Another section of this. There. Like I said before, I do apologize for horrible video. I don't have the greatest greatest setups yet. But I'm just uh, working to get some kind of a frame built. And I'm going to be, once it's that part's done, put together, then uh, I'll make an actual frame out of it. And I've got some sheet plastic here I'm going to use to make, make most of it out of ABS plastic. Use a little heat forming impress. And then the top of it will all be uh, finished off with some fiberglass. And hopefully, I can paint it to match the bike to make it look like it's meant to be there. Right now I'm just using up some old cardboard that I have to get my shape in there that I, I want. Get pieces trimmed down. I know some of you are probably out there wondering, why don't I just go buy a Bluetooth radio? I like doing this better. I'm not following what everyone else is doing. I can make it look a little better than just having a speaker system hanging off the back of the, the rail somewhere. And, And again, this is just a, a real quick mock-up of where I think I might want to go with it. Like I said, I know I know where I want to end up. And I just got to see if I can get there. Also hoping to use the, the factory mount up here for the, the roof that I have to help support and secure everything in here. Thank you. 
CSS pops out of there. Just like that. Now, yeah. I'm gonna get some more tape on it so it holds its shape a little better. I'm gonna figure out the depth, the height, and where I can keep cutting. And for those of you who saw my uh, video of me wiring up the radio on the Dodge Ram, you may notice this looks a little different. I found a better spot that's going to give a better, better view of what I'm doing while wiring. And we're going to start using this, this view a little bit more. There. A little bit more tape, we'll see if it fits. See what it does. Yeah, that fits in there pretty nice. You can see I got the factory bolt coming through. Like I said, I am going to utilize that to mount this this whole thing up there so it stays. And then I'm also going to has some kind of a clamp on the on the roll cage but that is pretty close to how I want it to look when it's done I do want it angled towards the driver into the cabin so that way you get the most sound but I think we're on a good start next video you'll see me start putting the face on that start getting the the speaker ring and mount put in place so stay tuned stick around and if you really want to see more hit that subscribe button till next time